Here at the War Memorial, we meet a lot of current and former serving Australian military people, and we also have a huge number of uh, photographs and, and films of Australian military people. And we noticed that um, there are a lot of people wearing tattoos in these photographs and films. Um, but I'm an oral historian, and, and I'd read and conduct a lot of oral histories with people. And I noticed they weren't talking about tattoos. So on one hand, there's very strong visual evidence that people are wearing tattoos in the military, not just now, but centuries ago. Uh, and, th and yet those stories, is not, um, it's not obvious, it's not being told. So uh, what we're looking to do now is get more people to tell us about their tattoos that they have uh, chosen to put on themselves as, as uh, uh, having relevance to their military service or as part of their military service or because the tattoo represents a particular experience that they had while in military service. Um, we're, we're exploring those stories that are from historical documents and photographs and film, uh, but we also hope to uh, talk to people who are still living about their tattoo stories. Um, I can give you an example of um, a, a young lady I spoke to a couple of years ago for our oral history collection. She, uh, we spoke to her um, before she was about to deploy to Afghanistan and it was her first deployment to the Middle East. So she was looking forward to it but a little trepidatious as you can imagine. She was uh, living with her parents when I interviewed her and uh, she spoke very much in her oral history about her connection to home, her love of family, um, the strength of her mother. Uh, and of her father, who was also in the army like herself, and um, her sister, whom she was going to miss enormously when she went to Afghanistan. So uh, this conversation had come about because I'd glimpsed on her arm a tattoo, which was an infinity loop with the word sisters and a heart, and I'd asked her about it. She said that uh, she and her sister were going to they're so close, They're such, they have such a close sibling relationship, which not everyone does with their sister, so she was lucky. Um, and in recognition of, of, of their connection and the, the, the way that they would miss each other when she was on deployment in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, which at that time was an increasingly dangerous place, they got tattoos, matching tattoos. And um, I, I'd asked her what her mother thought about she and her sister getting tattoos, um, and she said, well, um, Mum, mum was pretty shocked at first, but then she was okay with it. And the impression I had talking to her mother, because I also interviewed her, um, was that she was delighted to see this, um, maybe not initially, but she was delighted in the end to see this, uh, a physical proof of the strong connection with family and with home that her daughter had, especially prior to going to Afghanistan, because all parents worry about their children going overseas, especially to a war. And I, I think that's a um, that's that's something we can all understand. Mm -hmm. I spoke to this young lady after she returned from Afghanistan, some months later, and I noticed that she had a new tattoo, and it was above the previous one. And I asked her about that, and uh, she she told me it was a compass. The arrow in the compass is pointing to H, which stands for home. So what she what she had done after she returned from Afghanistan was reaffirm her strong connection to home. The fact that she'd been away in a, in a, in a foreign and war-torn country had done nothing to undermine, in fact, it had strengthened her strong connection to family and to home. It, it meant so much to her and it meant so much to her family. Um, it, uh, it, it was very touching, it was very touching, it was very moving.